I believe this is the first update post kind of changing the game to the free to play model. My feelings are relatively the same because there are some people that don't appreciate when they paid first for the game and then it changes to the free thing. Like to me hyper the situation is kind of different because it was for a long time available for everyone on side quest then it officially released with some price point and now it changed like this game has been around for so long that everyone that wanted got what they needed and essentially the developers changed their focus to the other project which is just natural. In regard to that I think I got some yeah like cash in the item shop and then like some special icon that I was like a supporter before which is cool not necessarily something I'll use anyways but it just it is what it is. <laughs> it's a relatively small patch with like a new map but it's just gonna be interesting to see what's the population or like the player base after the change. Considering I'm based in Europe, this is just pretty much like it was before, so nothing really changed. Match starts in three, two, one, go. So it's some kind of a volcano environment. I mean, I can see. Blue takes C. Red takes B. First elimination. Red takes A. Blue takes A. Wait, I don't know why I have like frame drops. Yeah, this is like not smooth at all. Blue team countered. Red takes A. I don't know if that will show on footage, like... Is the map not optimized or something? It's like I can clearly see the stutters. Blue takes A. Red takes B. And let me check this, because it's pretty weird, especially for Hyperdash. Match starts in three, two, go. Okay, that was better. Maybe the map had to load. So this is a domination thing. Red takes C. Red takes C. Red team scores three. And the stutters again. One. Red team wins this round. That's weird. <laughs> Match point. I mean, in this area here, it's fine. But when I get to the big opening. Red takes A. It starts to be a little bit questionable. I'll try to look past it and just focus on the gameplay. I'll see later. Oh no, that's mine. <laughs> I change colors. Oh, what the? <laughs> Red takes A. Red takes C. 
Blue takes A. Red takes B. Blue takes B. Red takes A. Yeah, Blue like here it's B. fine. It's very smooth and stuff like that. It's just in this big area, it starts to get wonky. So maybe it's just not optimized. Scores three, two, one. Red team wins this round. Go. Because for a game like Hyper Dash, it's very crucial to have everything smooth. So. Red takes A. First elimination. I don't know how I feel about it. Blue takes B. Blue takes A. I don't know I could curve it. <laughs> I'm so distracted from the stuff that's going on. This is essentially capture the flag with a time limit. Blue takes C. Blue takes B. Elimination Red takes C. I sometimes stop, like not this direction. Team scores three, two, one, countered. Blue takes blue team scores in three, two, one, countered. Wow. Blue takes speed. What are you doing here? Blue takes A. Blue takes B. Red takes A. Oh wow. <laughs> Blue takes B. Blue team scores in three countered. But do something. <laughs> Red takes B. Holy hell. The reload. Blue takes A. Blue team scores in three, two, one. Countered. Ten. Blue 
Red takes the red team. Four, three, two, one, counter. This is just last minute of thing. Blue takes A. No, 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 no. Stay back. Blue team scores in three, two, one. Blue team match point. Red takes B. Blue takes C. I feel like my controls are also the problem here. First elimination. Blue takes A. Blue team scores in three countered. The donations can finish very quickly if you are strategic enough. Red takes B. I'm kind of confused about those colors. It should change. Blue takes B. Red takes A. Blue takes C. Ah. Blue takes A. Red takes C. Blue takes B. Red takes B. Blue takes C. Blue team scores in three counter. Come on. Takes it's okay, I don't need to win and I have to go anyways. I don't know about the performance of it. I doubt it's something to do with my PC or just the headset or whatever. So I wonder because they changed the focus, like the developers, the polish is like not that present anymore. You'd have to play yourself and see if you have stutters as well though. It's just kind of weird considering I knew this game always as a very top tier thing in terms of the features and just the overall like caring of the project. The new map is cool, pretty easy to wander around and to just know where are the points. Kinda 50-50 about it but I appreciate that it's still getting some patches.